baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Welcome back to the Late Great Show. I'm your host, Aaron Monte. Here's this week's news. On April 7th, the U.S. conducted a missile strike on a Syrian airbase following a chemical attack from the Syrian government against Syrian rebels. 51% of Americans supported this action, while 32% opposed it. The other 17% were uncertain. Here at the late great show, we like to do the positives and the negatives of things, so we created a Venn diagram to kind of outline how people are feeling. First point on the supporting side. Trump is defending the Syrian rebels who are being attacked by the government. Yeah. Children are being killed by gas, murdered. People are dying. People have been dying. He decided to do something about it. First point, against these decisions. Trump will bomb Syria, but not accept Syrian refugees. I agree with this point a little bit. It's kind of weird. He's claiming to help these Syrian people, but he's not really helping these Syrian people. If you're going to help them one way, help them always. They need a ladder in order to reach freedom, and we're kind of giving them a step stool an exploding step stool, and I don't know how well it's going to work. Second point on the supporting side, Trump is only carrying on Obama's tradition of fighting Syria. I wouldn't say tradition, I wrote that, I write things, okay? But listen, he's been fighting Syria just like Obama's been fighting Syria. And look, Obama dropped over 12,192 bombs on Syria in 2016 alone. Trump has only sent over about 60 missiles in response to a chemical attack, which is pretty good reason to attack somebody, especially if you're already over there fighting. Obama is the MJ of bombing Syria, and Trump is Lamar Odom at best. He would need to practice in order to get better. Except in this case, if he's Lamar Odom, he'll probably just do a bunch of coke and then sleep with one of the Kardashians, maybe. He can get there, though. Next point on the opposing side. Bombing Syria. Thank you. What? Bombing Syria isn't going to teach Syria to stop bombing Syria. Fam, it's deeper than that. What would you like for us to do? Give him a stern talking to. Maybe get some hand puppets to illustrate it better? No, you're wrong. Be quiet. Now. Next point on the supporting side. Arabs on social media are giving Trump praise. Yeah, it's true. Look it up. They've been calling Trump Abu Ivanka, or father of Ivanka, as a sign of respect. And if they think we're doing something right, maybe we might be doing something right. Next point on the opposing side. People online are afraid of starting World War III using the hashtag, hashtag America is over party. America, you overreacting. Again. This is like the time we mourned the death of a gorilla for over a year. Stop it. You're scared now? We've been fighting Syria. Obama has been fighting Syria. But you didn't say anything when Obama was fighting Syria. You weren't scared back then. Which is showing how unfair we are to Donald Trump. Look, I'm not saying that Donald Trump isn't terrible. And I love Obama too, but not everything that Donald Trump is going to do is going to be bad. You like to trash Donald Trump the way you like to praise everything that Kanye West does. Like I just said, not everything that Donald Trump is, does is going to be bad. Because we know he does bad things, but that doesn't mean everything's going to be bad. Just like Kanye West makes great music, but that doesn't mean everything he does is going to be great. Because Yeezus was trash. Jesus was trash. On the screen, Jesus was trash. Say it with me. Jesus was trash. Thank you. Let's see what Sean Spicy Spicer had to say about this entire situation. Roll the clip. You know, someone as despicable as Hitler, who didn't even sink to the to the to using chemical weapons. What? Okay, okay. But he he cleared it up. He cleared up what he meant, right? I think when you come to sarin gas, uh, there was no, he was not using the gas on his own people the same way that a shot is doing. I mean, there was clearly, I, I, I understand your point, thank you. I, uh, thank you, I appreciate that. There was not in the, in the he brought him into the, to, um, 
to the Holocaust Center. I understand that. But I'm saying in the way that Bash Assad used them, where he went into towns, dropped them down to innocent into the middle of towns, it was brought to it. So the use of it, and I appreciate the clarification there. That was not the intent. Oh, my God. I'm Adolf Hitler. I'm not like that Assad guy. I don't bring the chemical weapons to you. I bring you to the chemical weapons. Come on down to the Holocaust Depot and get yourself a fill. We've got chemical weapons out the wazoo. Come on down, people. You're writing these jokes yourself, Spicy. Stop it. Please. Stop it. Our last story. Sunday, security officers of the United Airlines flight dragged passenger David Dow off an airplane after he refused to give up his seat on an overbooked flight. You get, a pla you get a plane ticket with United, you better get ready to get slapped up a little bit. You better get ready to get a little choke hold put on you. You get a flight with United, you might want to get ready to have a foot United with your backside. It was later revealed that Dr. David Dow lost his medical license in 2005 on six felony counts and was also convicted for writing prescriptions and checks with a male patient in exchange for sexual favors. Ooh pow, 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 pow. United Airlines didn't know they were dealing with a wild man over here. They had no clue what he was going to do. They didn't know he was going to wild out. They chose the wrong guy to mess with. They were exposed with their stupid overbooking policy by a crazy guy who will do anything to get what he wants. That's your bad, United. That's your bad. This is the late great show. I'm your host, Aaron Monte. Here's your moment is in. Ooh, baby, I like it, boy.